This is a topic I know many people are frustrated with. It makes absolutely no sense why you can't have more than one island per Switch console. Even if you buy a second copy of the game, you'll be completely out of luck. So I came up with a pretty decent workaround. Let me show you. This wasn't a big deal for me until my girlfriend started playing the game. This was a big victory for me. It's the nerd dream having a girlfriend that likes video games. But her first experience was feeling like she had to ask me whenever she wanted to add something to the island. That's no way to play the game. Can I cut down these trees? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Can I decorate this beach? Do whatever you want. Can I just have my own island? No! Everyone should be able to customize their island the way they want it to look. Their own little island getaway from their real life. So here's what I did. After I unlocked the ability to terraform islands, I went to work dividing it evenly in half. First I put a river right down the center of the island, but it looked awful. So instead, we have snaked this river in a more natural looking way. We did it in a way that gives each of us an even amount of land to play with. Obviously this isn't as good as having a whole island to yourself, but it is charming in its own way. Now my girlfriend's island is like a little neighboring village across the water. We also shared all the resources down the middle. Each side gets five villages and one shop each. She also took the museum since I have the town hall and the campsite. If any villagers on her side ask me to move, I just ask her in person if she wants them to move or not. We each dig up two to four fossils each day, which isn't a big deal now that we have completed the fossil part of the museum. We each only take one of the two items you can find from shaking trees per day. If we already have it, we just leave it for the other. The game thankfully gives us each our own money rock, bottle recipe, and golden money tree spot, so that's not much of an issue. If the money tree spot is on her side, I just dig it up and replant it on my own side. If she wants to move a villager or shop, she has to log into my character to do so, which is so annoying and unnecessary. I mean, all of this should be unnecessary. So there you have it. That is a pretty good way of having more than one person on one console to have their own island on Animal Crossing. It also leads to more creativity because you have less space to work with. Granted, it'll be even less space if you have three or four people sharing one console. But sharing is caring, right? And if you like this video that I shared with you, then maybe you can share the love and subscribe to me, or even hit that notification bell. But as always, until next time, keep questing.